Hello, my name is Cody and I'm with LaunchDarkly. We talk a lot about LaunchDarkly being a platform that you can build, ship, and release features globally in. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into making that possible. On the surface, it's a toggle and an application change, but in the back end, there's a lot of architecture considerations that went into making that truly globally scalable capability exist. This really becomes the foundation of what we talk about with customers when we talk about buying a feature management platform versus just using simple feature management built on your own. In this video, I want to explore a little bit about the, how that architecture works and how it looks within the application and give you a little bit of visibility into how big this platform really is. Let's jump in and take a look. We're used to this experience within LaunchDarkly where you come over, you toggle in a feature flag within the LaunchDarkly platform, and the application changes in some way. You can see in the application here, I went from having a simple header that talked about application delivery with a couple of cards to a whole new LaunchDarkly header with the log on screen popping up. If I go through and continue to toggle these feature flags, the application will continue to change nearly instantly. But what goes into actually making that happen? Let's take a look real quick. What makes this possible is a highly advanced architecture that we refer to as the flag delivery network. We have our own launch darkly infrastructure combined with a CDN that's globally reaching that pushes feature flags out to the edge for our endpoint SDKs to consume. We've got over 20 different SDKs that allow you to integrate with things like React or JavaScript or even Salesforce and other platforms like that. These SDKs connect back into this globally consistent network to pull in these feature flags and resolve them back into the application. If we switch back into our application, we can actually watch this happen live. We'll go ahead and bring up developer tools and we'll refresh the page. And we can see a lot of things happening in Chrome's developer tools options. If we go back to the beginning, we can see some of these initialization events happening. We go into the event service for LaunchDarkly and we start to transmit event information up into the platform. Skip forward a couple of steps and we can see we pull down our first set of uh, feature flags. You can see this is a put where we're getting all of the feature flags back from the environment. So we put our connection in and the response back is an event stream that tells us all the feature flags available in the environment. Now what you can't tell from this screen is that this is now a long lived connection that exists. This is opening up a streaming connection back into LaunchDarkly. And this is one of the most powerful capabilities that frankly is one of the hardest to build on your own. We allow this streaming service to continually push feature flag data down as it changes. We don't have to push the entire flag payload down. We only push the flags that change inside of that environment. So when I come in and enable something like this logo image, we can watch this change immediately where a patch comes in enabling that new feature flag. If we switch back to the screen behind this where we can see the new image show up, that image shows up nearly instantly because it's reaching out to that content delivery network and receiving that flag back down right as soon as it changes via that streaming channel. Building something that can have this experience globally is hard because you never know what people are going to be connecting from. It could be on a mobile device in Australia or on a MacBook at a Starbucks in Minnesota. Ultimately, we need to have a consistent experience for the way flags are received by our endpoint devices, and that's what we've built the flag delivery network to be able to do. Another thing that happens within this connection is the evaluation of rules. So when we come in and say, I have this logo version that I want to change and I want to apply a specific set of rules to this. Maybe I want to ensure that the only devices that get this new change are browser devices. Everybody else should not receive this change. And I save it. This is being quickly transmitted up into LaunchDarkly and the flag value is being returned back down as part of that change stream that occurs. We can see this by going back into our developer tools again and seeing that updated version here where we've now toggled that on, the value is true and it's receiving a different configuration. So just to recap, what we've seen is early on process where we initialize the SDK and begin our connections back into the platform. We receive that first set of payload down for our feature flags, and then we continue to receive our flag values through a continuous streaming process that's ever changing. As operators work inside of the platform to make changes and reconfigure feature flags, toggle them on and off, the stream continues to update. In the event that streaming is unavailable, we have a polling mechanism that the system can fall back to to use in the event that it needs to. That polling mechanism will return the entire flag payload at a set interval. Building applications today is hard. The world has become so distributed that you never know if people are connecting from one of 20 different devices in 100 different locations. Building a platform to support that application platform is even harder and something that you shouldn't have to do on your own. 
LaunchDarkly is a platform that's built to scale globally. It's built to deliver feature flags extremely fast. It's built to expose you to features like user targeting so you can control who's receiving features, experimentation so that you can get data about how you release functionality. It's built for integrations with things like Datadog and Dynatrace and Honeycomb so you can bring observability into your feature management. We've built all of these features so you don't have to, so that you can get back to what matters the most, building and shipping applications, and we can help you do that safer and faster. I hope you learned a little bit about how LaunchDarkly works. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Have a great one.